even though it wasn't even in the six in 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 that wasn't even the right date. Like slaves have been here since the 1500s in Florida. But you know, uh, Nicole Hannah Jones at the New York Times doesn't seem to know that. So she says that uh, whiteness started when when white people brought black slaves to the United States and white people weren't even considered white before that they were considered to be French or English or German or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They were identifying as ethnicities, but white people were created when slavery came to America because they had to distinguish black from white so that they could keep the black people oppressed and the white people built up institutions of power to uphold and uplift other white people, which is code for capitalism, by the way, because slavery is grounded in capitalism. This is why the police are grounded in capitalism because the police started, these people say, when, uh, when they were catching runaway slaves and things like that. Anyway, White people built up all these systems of power based in capitalism to keep black people down. That is the basis for systemic racism in this country and is why today whiteness and capitalism are interchangeable because it's not about your skin color. These people will call anyone who is white um, or anyone who engages in capitalism, the bourgeois who believes in private property, who believes in individuality, who believes in meritocracy, they will call all these people white. Larry Elder is a great example of that with the Los Angeles Times calling him the black face of white supremacy when he is very, 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 very black. Byron Donalds got called exactly the same thing. Also very, 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 very black. So you don't have to be white skin to engage in whiteness because whiteness doesn't mean your skin color. Whiteness means that you're engaging in capitalism. You are part of the bourgeois, not part of the proletariat. And that is our expanded definition of critical race theory in so many words. I don't know what critical race theory is, Judith. All right. Sure. Nick says that critical race theory teaches that it's the job of CRT activists to assume racism at all times. It's their job to find out why, not how, but, but why racism occurred. Exactly, exactly. To paraphrase a certain media personality, CRT means that everything is racist and all you have to do is point it out. Exactly. James Lindsay says that critical race theory is the belief that racism is the fundamental organizing principle of society. None of us know what it means, Judith. All right. Sure. They assume it means that white people are bad or that um, or that slavery pervades U.S. history. Well, it is true. Slavery has been there since the founding of, since the ding, discovery ding, ding. of the Americas. What did I say? Colonial intervention. Slavery was there. There's no question about it. But the ways in which this characterization takes place, it, it seems so inflammatory. Judith, do you, do you even know what critical race theory is, Judith? Because I'm pretty sure I just gave a more advanced definition of critical race theory than you did. And I'm not even an academic, Judith. I've never even studied your literature. I picked all this up from watching like thousands of hours of your trainings. Do you even know what critical race theory is, Judith? Because I'm pretty sure I've given more of a definition to it than you have. Nobody even stops to think what is critical race theory is it a legal doctrine? What is How it? How did it originate for what, what purposes is it? in the law? I just told How you. It different from black history? What is what it, Judith? Can you define it? Or are you just asking questions to make yourself sound smart? What is it? In which we could situate critical race theory. Do we need to do some reading in order to make some grounded judgments? But this is not that kind of argument. This is an argument against reading. No books of that kind. No reading of that kind. Which means... I'm fairly certain that I've done more reading on this topic than Judith Butler based on her complete lack of definition for critical race theory, Judith. 